Coach, you're in charge of the linebackers this year directly. So can you tell us a little bit about when you took over, what were some of the things that you wanted to emphasize to improve their performance over last year? Yeah, just really, I mean, playing playing faster, playing more aggressive. Um, and, and, you know, I think at the linebacker position, communication is always a, a top thing. I mean, you're the D-line, DBs are all, you know, the communication runs through linebackers. Everyone's waiting to hear from them. And so um, that requires us to, to know our job better. And I think when, when you do that, obviously you can communicate better and then play faster. And so um, that, that, that's our biggest thing we're working on. I, th I think that's done a good job so far. We'll stay on that left side to Olin and then Cole. And Coach, uh, what's it going to take to, uh, or how do y'all go about boosting that pass rush? Uh, you know, I, I, we got we got a, a good crew of guys up there in our front. We have some depth up front that um, I think that are very capable. Obviously, you know, we, we were extremely young last year in our front, um, but also talented. And I think so. As you, as you get, you know, a year into that, now those guys have a full um, winter, spring, another summer under their belt. You know, and you can see the differences just just in, in their body and what their their physical abilities are. Do they have to learn? To is there something? Absolutely. That they have to learn at, the, at this level to be able to. Yeah, learn. absolutely. I mean, you know, it's like anything else. Like experience helps, and you, you, you get a better feel for how to how to attack a guy, the game within the game. Um, you know, technique and fundamentals are things that, that as coaches, we have to instill. You, you take guys with, with great ability and talent, right? And then our job as coaches is to then teach them technique and fundamentals and, and get them comfortable with it. And, you know, Coach Robinson was just in here. He, he's as good as there is in the country, and he's done a great job with those guys. And you, you can see those changes already. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole and then Brent. DJ, when you look at last year's defense, you ranked number one in pass coverage, but you struggled against the run. Do you consider that just due to inexperience up front, or was it just something with miscommunication, injuries? What do you think kind of played a factor into that? Yeah, you, usually in football, it's hard to probably just say like one thing was the reason. I think you know you mentioned several things, but but the bottom line for us, and we've talked a lot about it, we, we don't shy away from it. We, we were not good versus the run. We need to improve that. That has to happen. We we have to be more consistent. I think is probably the word, uh, you know, across the board, run or pass, of just um, you know playing at, at a high level consistently, and you know, so a lot of the things would, would would lead to that. But but we know as a defense, you know, it's, it is what it is. You're you're, you know, what you put on the field is who you are, and so um, that's definitely a challenge for our guys. And then when you have a chess piece like Bryce Anderson, who could play in the nickel, he can play either safety spot. What does that do for the versatility of the secondary, especially when you're trying to replace talent like AJ and Jalen? Yeah, I think versatility is is probably the number one attribute you look for in guys on the defensive side of the ball because the, the um, offense presents so much more issues nowadays with with tempo and and you know spreading it out. And so when, when you have guys that can, they can you know do several things and play more than one spot, it allows you to you know be multiple defensively, which, which I think you need to be. So you know you, you mentioned Bryce and he, he certainly is a versatile guy and he'll play several spots. And I, I think good for us, we have several guys. They have that type of versatility. We, we look for that in recruiting for sure. We'll stay on the front row to Brent. And then first, first of all, good seeing you at the youth league deals where we cross paths. But yeah, how much team. how much more comfortable are you going into a second year? You know, and not just here, but going into a second year, the comfort level for you in terms of what to expect. Yeah, I mean, a lot. I mean, that, that, that's a normal transition. Like, you know, in the first year, everything's a first. First training camp, first just just knowing how things go, how, how the how the schedule runs, knowing your guys. Um, you know, one of the biggest things I think you have to do as a coach is really know your personnel really well and build, you know, what you do and how you do it based on their strengths. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to, to see all of that right away. You kind of kind of learn it as you go. So I, I feel much more comfortable about knowing our personnel now now this year. And, and, and I think those guys probably have the same comfort level with, with, with me and how we do things and what our scheme is and everything else. So. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, we're much further along. We'll go third row on the left side. We'll start on the inside to Tyler and work our way out. DJ, kind of going off that, just what would you say the biggest difference maybe this time last year with your defense and, and how the defense is right now? Yeah, I mean, last year a lot of those guys, I mean, I, you know, the, the numbers are there, but we, we set a record for freshmen playing, you know, on, in, in, a, in a season. And so, um, that we had a lot of freshmen, so sitting here this time last year, like I mean, it was still we didn't know. You think you know when you're recruiting someone, you think you know what you're getting, but you, you don't always know. It's you got to get out there on the field the guy and see how they go. And so th there was probably a lot more question marks, I think, um, at this point last year of just you know who are going to be the guys, who's in the mix, how much are guys playing. 
Um, I, I think you know there, there's more of those things probably answered. Although I think we have great competition at our spots, and you know um, keep, keep going through that. We'll stay on the left side to Carter and then Alec. EJ, what, what have been your impressions of the cornerback transfers, McCall, Grimes, and DeBerry? Love their approach, their competitiveness. It, the, the cool thing is when, when you when you bring in you know guys with playing experience and, and you know veteran guys like that, they they understand. You know, there's a lot more that goes in it than, than just bringing a freshman. Obviously, they they've been around it. They understand the game, what it takes to prepare yourself. There's so much that goes in this game that you have to take ownership in as a player, in terms of your preparation to get yourself right. You know, treating your body right, preparing, learning stuff out, outside of just what the required amount of time is, and and those guys done a great job with it. And, and what I love about them is they're competitive. They, they they bring it to the field and they are you know competing like crazy for spots. And then, uh, did you know Bobby Petrino before he took the job? And what have your impressions been about just what he's brought to the offense? Uh, no, d did not know uh, Bobby at all. Um, but but obviously knew of him and and. Um, you know, followed his his track record very closely, and, and he has been a, a, a tremendous uh, addition to our staff for our team. Um, I, I love going against him every day in terms of he, he prepares you uh, as a defense to be ready for a lot of things. I think he's a tremendous football coach, and um, you know, I, I just really think he, he is. There's been noticeable, um, you know, help for our staff and our players as we've gone through spring and now into training camp. One more on that third row to Alex. I just wanted to go back to Bryce Anderson and just ask, you know, looking back, what were some of your first impressions of him last fall, and just how have you seen him kind of progress in his game uh, up to this point in his young career? Yeah, what, what I love about Bryce is, man, he has a smile on his face every day. He, he he comes to work. He loves to practice. He loves to work, prepare, and and Bryce is extremely talented. So you take a guy that that's that talented that has that loves to prepare and work and practice, you know, he can't help but get better. Um, and so, you know, we, we have high expectations for Bryce. I think he did some really good things last year as a freshman. And, and you think about it, he wasn't a guy that played a ton of defense in his high school career either. I mean, he was, he was just really learning. And so, um, again, now you take his playing experience from last year and go through a whole winter, spring, and, and, and fall camp, um, I, I think that he'll just continue to keep getting better and better. We'll go back behind the lights with a couple questions on the right side. Hey, Coach, uh, just working with the linebackers, and especially some of the depth you brought in this offseason, what have you seen from some of those new guys, Torian, uh, Damian, and JD, and some of the others? Yeah, I, I love the competition in the room right now. Um, and I talked about it with them the other day. It, it's, it's really good. It's a healthy competition. Like, those guys are great people, first and foremost, in that room, which is awesome. I mean, like, they, they, they really care about one another. Um, and they're and they're competing, and like you can do both those things, right? You you can care for the guy next to you, but also go out there on the field and be, be trying to beat each other out for for reps and for a spot. And so um, that's only going to make us all better. There, there's really good competition. You, you mentioned some of those guys that, that we've brought in. Um, you know, they're they're all they, they they check all the boxes for us, and so we're, we're happy to have them. We'll stay behind the lights to Justin. Hey, coach. Obviously, we, for the most part, we shoot four periods and leave. But I'm interested. You know, how do you create situations in practice? Jimbo always talks about the strain and, and, and putting guys through different situations. Interested with, with that from your perspective on the defense and how, how that kind of goes in practice between you know battling the offense. Uh, creating situations, you're saying? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, it, it's um, coach does a great job of of creating that competition in practice, how it's set up, and it is. It, it's it's competitive reps out there. I mean, we we have you know two fields practicing at once the entire day, so. Everyone, I mean, guys are getting reps. You're on the roster, you're getting reps out there. There's no one standing around and just watching. When, when you watch our team walk off the field, every guy is is drenched and spent and looks like he's been been through a hard practice. And I, I think that's the best way to develop a team. I think how coach designs that is awesome. There's really good, healthy competition between offense and defense. Obviously, things get chippy at times. I mean, that, that's who you're going against. But I, I really think our guys both um, on both sides of the ball have respect for one another and understand we need the other side. You know, we, we both got to get better and, and be good. And, and we consistently, every day, are talking about how to, how to practice really hard and protect the team, how to, how to make decisions that don't, doesn't put a guy on the other side at risk you know, with what you're doing. And that, that's, a, that's an ongoing uh, learning thing for a team. But I think our guys have done a good job. We'll go third row on the left to Carter. EJ, when y'all took uh, Giriante Davis uh, out of the transfer portal, did y'all have any questions initially just like, how would he translate to the SEC football? And then he proved pretty immediately that, that he belongs. 
I mean, no, because he, he has that. I've learned now in, in, in experience and years of coaching, guys that have that personality about them, there's, you know, like that competitiveness, they're going to find a way to rise. Whatever, whatever environment you put them in, they're going to find a way to somehow get to the top. And, and, and JD has that about him. And, and so, you know, as you get to know him and talk to people that have been around him, that, you know, the other places that have coached him and everything else, right, you do the research and the homework and you, you figure out that's the type of guy you're talking about. And, and I think that's the, you know, the common denominator for guys is like, if you have that competitive edge to you, you'll figure it out. We'll go front row on the right side to Cole and then wrap things up with Brent. Oh, you didn't, oh, to Travis, and then we can wrap things up with <laughs> Coach, uh, how important was it getting a guy like Damani Richardson back uh, to kind of have a little bit of a veteran presence back there? Yeah, I mean, it's great. Like, when, when, when you have guys in the back end that, that have seen a lot and played a lot, there's a comforting feeling as, as a coach, you know, especially calling the plays to know. I mean, there's a lot going on back there for those guys. So someone that has experience and, and can handle the communication of it, it it's, a, it's a great feeling. And I, I think, you know, we have really good guys around him as well, but, but Damani's experience level and, and knowledge of the game is, is tremendous for us. And then what is the uh, uh, addition of Joe Schaefer to the staff to kind of bring everything? Yeah, I, I think w w with Schaefer, he, he does an incredible job of seeing big picture. Um, he, he's coaching multiple spots for us, and he has that ability to do that. He, I mean, his experience, he's been a coordinator. He's coordinated some, some very successful defenses and teams, and, and um, you know, and, and so he's been successful doing that. So when, when you've been in those spots and, and calling it and having to coach all 11, you see things a little differently. And so that's where I think he, he provides tremendous value for us. And, and we have him coaching the, you know, the Bucks and the Stars. And so that, that's the back end and the front and move around. And, and he can do that. And he's got great rapport with the players. He's a guy that's been, been here with those guys, so they know him. So that, that, that was tremendous for us. Final question to Brent. There went my Schaefer question. So I'll, I'll ask you about the new indoor complex in terms of its size, you know, and, and being able to get things in done, you know, done in a climate controlled atmosphere as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've been able to get in the past two days and it it's incredible just what you said was, you know, we're all doing individual drills. So, so you have, you know, all the offense doing individual defense in the spots. Normally in an indoor, your individual space is shrunk down. You, you got to set up your drills to where, all right, I know I'm limited on my space. I mean, we were in there the other day, and it was like you felt like you're on the field alone. I mean, that's how much space there was. It was just incredible. And, and then, like I said, we're all practicing, you know, two spot at the same time. You know, we went to our team drills, and again, you had a full field. You know, th th you can run deep routes, and and you're not running out of space. You're not running into a wall. Um, so I, I think that, that thing is th the way it was designed is is amazing. You have a unique perspective on this, but with Texas coming into the league next year, still take pride in having beat them as a, as a head coach as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that, that was that was a left field. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. I, I think I think all the changes going on in college football is, is pretty exciting. How, how all that's playing out, and I'm sure there's probably more to come too. All right, that's it. Thank you, Coach. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.